वेलकम टू माय फोर्थ क्लास फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एजियो मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो सो हियर इन दिस क्लास फोर्थ क्लास सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड प्रोडिक्शन ऑफ इनकम सो दैट वाज काइंड ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड ट्यूटोरियल एक्चुअली इट वाज ऑटोमेटेड ट्यूटोरियल नाउ व्हाट वी डू हियर इज वी विल क्रिएट आवर ओन एल्गोरिदम this we created an algorithm right uh, i mean of course it was tutorial kind of thing and we created web services now uh, probably i can delete this uh, but uh, but we cannot delete directly you have to go to the delete first web services then you have to delete this one so uh, oh, let's let's let me show you something actually right now you can add this i think you can add this in the project let's go to this udemy and let's add that one in the project so that uh, go to the add assets see this experiment you see this you see this is there are two experiments one is income prediction and the other is um the other is um, predictive you know is web services actually go ahead and click on that so Three things got added. How interesting! Yeah, so that data set and click on it. Okay. Now, w w what's good thing about this here is they'll have the people who have access will view this. Okay, so that is only the use of this project actually. So here you can see these are two experiments, actually one experiments, one data set, and one prediction. So I think prediction. Uh, two experiments of course that's um, two experiments because one we use for web services because web services they manipulated a little bit of that um but i not i guess i'm not manipulate this one for this you know for, for this okay so here uh, let's use an another experiment we'll go through this two more experiment because i'm sure uh, this will take some time to understand it this is not easy um i mean the whole concept of machine learning is to machine learning i mean to to learn a machine right to predict a machine on future is a kind of prediction uh not for use for our own purpose but for, uh, for example let's take an example for drone you want to train a drone let's say you you are running a drone right and you are let, let's say let's take an example you're running a drone without Ma without manual interface that means no one is interested uh, this drone is automatically moving so you want to make sure so there will machine learning come into the picture you develop an algorithm for that machine that if let's say the drone wants to crash but it, it doesn't crash because if there is an algorithm that if there is anything in between uh, it moves away from it so that's the you know so that's that's the machine learning okay uh, i mean uh, i'm giving an example that's just one of the example where you do just the machine learning uh, applications are a wide variety you know you have you can use it you use in healthcare project it gives in commercial projects you can industrial project military application oh my god this is land of military applications but here we are using for very very lenient purpose like <laughs> for prediction income for prediction um price uh, let's let's do one more experiment actually um let me actually uh, i'll use a little bit of uh, document here so you, i mean the documents are there for you okay um let's go this way is it um machine learning um i have included this uh, you know this 10 mb of document so you can go ahead and view that one let's go to this um so i am actually you know um so this lot of things you can view this um this gives a lot of information which i actually have not even discussed about it right so here you have this if you get confused of my video tutorial use this the tutorial and you know try to understand this thing. um you know we will we'll go through this i wanted to show you another one but unfortunately it's like 354 pages use it um i hope it will be useful um with this video use it with first you you know understand this video why we are using this machine learning uh, azure machine learning studio and then use it um 
document to read that will make more sense or vice versa it's up to you so um, so here I'll go for issue machine elite so I'll go to here okay so now what I'll do here is um, this is good uh, okay now uh, we will we'll see here I'll go back again in the experiment section where we have this lot of experiments we are creating experiments so far we created all the experiments so let's go back to experiment section go ahead and click on new here you have sample we'll go through the sample if we have time probably for me it will take I think tomorrow or something because it's already 3 p.m. Um, but um, two examples we'll try to see and we'll also um, if we have I want to give at least five hours five hours six hours of training at least you have some idea on this we'll go to this notebook too and see if it works I've not tried that but let's see if I have that okay so go ahead and click on blank experiment okay good now when I see this blank experiment right you this thing all automatically shows up you know lot of the save data sets uh, here is this all the things shows up so I'll give it a name here as automobile oh sorry it showed up okay. automobile price prediction all right um, all we are using is flowchart so everything is in flowchart okay so what we need is data 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 always it's a data okay so what I'll go is automobile price data click that guy here and see here okay drag that guy put it here that's it it's as simple as that put automobile um, yes too many things but uh, samples so you want to get data this is data data set right now oh, do, we don't require any uh, now we'll try to visualize it we'll visualize it click on number one this go to the number one and click on visualize it here if you see this um you don't want this uh there's a lot of things here okay there are 205 rows and 26 columns so this is the data actually it's supposed to be in database this data is supposed to be in database but here it's we are showing up in ui that's a good thing okay so there is a lot of data here right a lot of data good um now i'm looking at the price let's say i'm predicting price here in for the ease of convenience you can do anything i mean you don't have to predict only price you can predict horsepower you can predict compression ratio you can predict stroke I don't know you can predict anything whatever you want there's a lot of columns 26 columns you can predict all of them I don't care right um, it's it's up to you it's, we are doing machine learning so you want to predict uh, what what will they be what's the prediction ratio I'm sorry what's the uh, you want to split it 0.5 train the model first thing is you have to train the model with the 75 per 70 percent or 70 percent of data and then you have to visualize the data see that how how it looks like i mean it's nothing to do with what to do with it it's for machine to, to you know to use machine. but you can view this graph it's very important actually to be honest uh, probably i would write a paper i have this papers so many papers probably i will write a paper on this machine learning right it's that complex okay so um you can predict uh, fuel type you know we can there's only one fuel type oh, there's a gas diesel uh, th this is pretty um narrow i mean this is not just gas there is a methane methane 30 octane there's a lot of gas uh, types i don't know there's only by gas and diesel this methane octane is a lot of things octane uh, 10 i think octane um this, there's a lot of things but i don't have it here so insufficient data okay never mind um i will predict price in this case you can predict anything but in this scenario in this tutorial in this class we predict price uh data's homework if you want to predict anything else it's up to you it's up to, um, whatever you want to predict you can predict um so here i see this price but the problem is there is a problem here there is a problem here um, there is a missing data you see there is no data here this for this one there is no price right 
it is already here. Oh. So we don't want it this time. Okay. Now, now here you can see the statistics actually. Um, for this, there is a missing data. If you see here, there's two data gone. Uh, only two data. This okay, whatever. There's no data for that. Now, I have to be careful on that. Um, so I want to predict data, but I have to clean the data first, right? So uh, what we'll do here is, um, so we have seen this, right? So I want to uh, select columns in the data. Let's see, select columns. Oh, there you go. Now we are doing a data manipulation here, okay? Let's click it here and what we'll do here is yeah we want what we want to do here is i want to clean the data right so what we'll do is launch column selector and go with the rules and exclude normalized losses right um, okay I um, just wanted to make sure if the thing is, if you make some mistakes, this thing, uh, it works, but uh, it doesn't work as per your requirement. Okay. Now, um, what I'm doing is, I'm excluding the columns, um, you know, with normalized uh, losses. And what I'll do is, is run this. Uh, it's better to run always um, each flow chart if you run. So that shows you if there is an error in this or not. So there is no error. So we are good. Okay, that's good. Now what we'll do here is um, now we we'll clean the missing data. So that's that's the point here. We we'll clean the missing data. So click on clean the missing data and join this here. All right. Now I have this option. Alright, so what I'll do here is um, I have to clean the missing data, right? So um, there's an option. How do you want to clean it? Um, there's a lot of options. Replace using mice, real customer substitution value, replace with mean. There is null value actually. So what I'll do is remove entire row. Uh, last time I did some mistake, I removed entire column. Ouch, that was bad. So, remove entire row. So, I'll remove the entire row. But, let's see. Okay. I did some mistake here. Let's. So, um, I selected all columns. Okay, that's good. So, we are good on it we don't need uh, to select all the columns i want to remove the entire row whichever doesn't have any so we are cleaning up data here okay um, we'll remove this one so now we'll try to run it again R right click go ahead right click and click on run select so it's always better to run one by one so that uh, it gives an ease of convenience of you know um, for the next flow chart to prepare okay so now we clean the data how do we know let's find out go ahead and click on that the two there are two dots here right clean the data set and cleaning transformation we'll go to clean data set and visualize now if you see that i wanted to see the price right if i see the price that price there is no null value anymore let's find out um let's see the price you see here now this data is cleaned because i see here's the thing you can see here's the thing it's not necessary you have to put um where is it uh, okay here you can remove entire row or put the missing value with zero or whatever value you want you can do that okay um replace it with um you know um probably stake or you know you want to put it some zero put it zero okay um, but since there is a null I want to remove that I mean uh, this tutorial in this tutorial but you don't you don't have to do that uh, you can 
a pin some values or based on you know upon experience based on your knowledge you can do that but here I'm just removing it for the ease of convenience all right so okay good uh, now what we'll do here we ran that one that successfully you ran it and let's do this now here I'll select again column data set all right now what the clean data set this is the clean data set and i will append to this one now what i will go here and uh, launch column selector okay this is good with rules all columns and i'm sorry it's no columns and include column names okay so this so this is the important thing so this is what you want to show up in the um, as the columns. To be honest, I uh, you know I'm putting all of them. To be honest, I'll put ev everything, symbolizing, make. I don't care. But you know, for tutorial point of view, we will just use some of them as make body style. This is the body style of the car. Okay, wheel wheel base so i mean it, it can be anything it, it, i mean i'll be using everything actually to be honest um engine size what is engine size horsepower to be honest this is this makes uh, for me a little i mean no sense at all because this is what it will be showing up but to be honest this this is at least of my worries actually but price price is important so this is what this is important if, if i don't care anything else but price should be included because that's what i am predict predicting about so click on check mark and run it again let's see what happens so uh, this, uh, this is running every flow chart actually each and everything and it successfully ran very good now what happens here is now what you want to do is now you want to select a lot of them but uh, you have to do actually you want to split the data right before selecting an algorithm you want to split the data why you want to split the data because you want to train a model and you have to uh, train a model based on uh, uh, you know um, you know, you know, based on the percentage. Here you have, we will make it seven five or something, right? Uh, we'll make, oops, sorry, seven five, right? Point seven five. That means seventy five percent of this data uh, will go to this, right? Um, now, what we'll do here is, here what we'll use. Is last time we used two, uh, two base bilinear, right? here we use linear regression okay so this is the algorithm this is the algorithm um, of linear regression you can use base you know bayesian linear regression so this is a, the algorithm i mean based on this um, it's the weight is 0 0.001 and uh, you can online gradient descent or ordinary i leave this thing alone for tutorial point of sake but as a homework you can try it yourself of what it does right um so now we are splitting the data and now training the model now here we are doing some work training model all right so um here you have two options right now i didn't ran this one but let's put it here let's put this here okay so what you want here is you want price oh, that's bad so i delete this one and uh, delete this one too um let's let's you know run this we have run this let's run this because it's better to run uh, each and every flow before you are doing this you don't have to it's not important but 
um, thing is it's good to good, good to run because so here I'm using a m algorithm called linear re regression and I am using a trained model to train it with 70% of data so I'll use this this is untrained model and it's putting into linear regression and the split model did this okay that means 75 percent of data is going to train this now i'll go to this launch column selector and here what i want is price you can select only one not many because you want to train only one right uh, that's what we did now now th that's good so this is this is good we are so this is what the action the, actually the whole action starts from here actually linear regression what we did so far was cleaning up data uh, this is the data raw data we took okay i'll explain this again we'll go through this uh, later and explain what is it all about um, now would the trade model run it uh, again run it it's good to run because it will run that uh, it takes that linear regression that 0 0.001 and trains the data uh, of that price uh, which we split it with 75.75 and it trains the model um, and uh, it, it generates some data again it generates data based on that data uh, so we'll finish okay good um, so once it trained you want scorecard right score model sorry um, so that you can see what happening this score model actually shows you to see what's happening uh, that 30 percent should be here right i guess okay right um now we'll run this data i'm sorry run this flow so we have not done anything actually here we just uh, created a flow chart and uh, now once you have run it try to visualize it we'll see what's happening here what happened to my income i'm sorry i'm still stuck on income it's in price now uh, the price you see here see this price now it has labeled based on this training on linear we don't need this uh, using linear regression algorithm we have predicted the score levels you know one zero two eight five five four four six eight point eight four we have predicted this right um see as you can see we have limited uh, columns only nine columns make body style because we selected this one right so technically for me this i don't care but um i want i don't care what columns show up this is like the only thing you wanted to see that's the only way if you don't use it's not necessary this this flow is not necessary technically but this flow is used to see what columns you want to see in your score model that's the only whole point but technically it doesn't make any difference that thing doesn't make any difference. only thing difference makes is subaru okay this make is Core label is 10286 fine Mitsubishi it's 5446 price fine that's fine all right so that's how the score model now what we'll do next here to view this graphs now we'll evaluate that model right let's evaluate that model and we'll go ahead and click on that and run the flow we'll just run that flow and see what happens okay good now we have ev evaluated that model let's see that's visualized let's visualize that right click on that small button as you can see there's a graph generated for you this error histogram in the mean absolute error okay let's try to see what is exactly this means um so mean we have this option right mean absolute error is one six five six one four seven so this is the average value of absolute error an error is like predicted value and then add and then actual value so you want to predict the future uh, prices of automobiles then this is what you will be using it okay so this shows 
this error and this is a frequency okay the error in the x-axis and the frequency in the y-axis that's good and this a root mean squared error means the, in the root average squared error is the prediction made on test data set uh, since we use 75 percent so it depends on that too um, we split it the data into 0.775 it don't have to be 0.75 you can use 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 or 0 0.1 um, it's up to you how do you want to this is actually fraction of the rows what you want as an output to be trained you want to get trained right um, the machine has to get trained so um, I'm using like 0 0.5, 0 0.75 I'm sorry I think it's in percentage so 0 0.75 means 75% I think that's what I um, I'm assuming actually but let's see here uh, relative absolute error this, uh, this average absolute error relative to absolute difference between actual values and average of actual values okay great and the relative squared error gives the squared error relative to that's good um, so and there is coefficient of determination where r is a squared value this is statistic metric indicating how well a model fits the data so this is how you can you know visualize it okay to visualize it use this small icon located here right click and visualize it and you see this graph and so technically this is meaningless for you if you see this what's up all this I don't get it right I uh, me too I'm like what what I have to do with this data now this is important once if, if because since it's a machine learning this is for machine learning not for you that means oh, let's take an example for uh, as i told you right the drone let's say you're using a drone and you're making drone to predict some let's say you're making drone to predict without interference it has to let, let's say it's amazon guys right they are shipping um th they made some news that they will be shipping all the goods through drones with no no manual labors right uh, they'll be shipping to drones so now they have to use this machine learning so that if there is let's say there is a wind and there is a, uh, there is a wind in the opposite direction which the drone has to go right um but there's a package to be delivered to that particular home right now now you have to predict that if the wind is coming into that direction the drone has to may make a move into the another direction to avoid that wind that's how this machine learning is useful does it make sense right it's it may not be useful at, at this point of time for you but when you are implementing into uh, some system including i just give an example of drone it's the don't have to be drawn it could be anything uh, but we are using algorithm for predicting anything which based on the data so let's say uh, let's assume that the wind rate you know the wind uh, at that california is always at that flow so drone has to predict that at that time um, the wind will be high so it will not move at that time and moves away from that direction or takes a different route or you know if the, if based on this model right so this model helps you to machine uh, you know uh, to learn that machine that if the wind is flowing that it has to move into the different direction so that's all uh, that, that's it about all about machine learning okay so the, the, but for now you may not understand those data um, because that data is a little bit uh, you know different um, and it's nothing to do with manual interference uh, it is used for the machine since it is for machine learning right so so let's try to understand this flowchart uh, let's recap let's revise once again try to understand what we have done so um, so you know um, what we have done is we have took in raw data that is automobile price data and you can visualize this we want to see this what's the data um, so in this um, I wanted I wanted price 
but I saw this there there is a missing data here it's two to three missing data two I suppose here yeah. two here and one here so what I want to do is to clean the missing data so I selected this use this normalized losses that's a different column actually exclude that column and clean that missing data and I remove the entire row so whichever the data is null so you can append that with zero that's okay I mean you can clean uh, the cleaning mode you can append that with a zero because since it's a null I remove the data so it remove the entire row okay and then um, then what I did is select number of data and for me this this makes no sense I could select all of the information like make body style don't it's not necessary but here it's important because um, I want to see only the make and the body style let's say I want only those information not every information I selected particular columns here see here I have selected only particular columns that means only that price is of course important so price is my priority so this should be there right in you know excluding that what else information do I need do I need the make body style meal? it's it's based completely on you how do you want to look at the data at okay so um, that's what I selected the data and then I use from here the action starts the, uh, the splitting the data now you want to split the data and how do you want to split the data in 0.75 so here we use an example of 0.75 and uh, you know we split the data and train the model using a linear regression model okay we create a linear regression model and put it into this and untrained model and uh, then put the split data that spines and phi and trained it and with that we want to see the prediction using score model score model helps you to predict uh, the future data or you know how does it um, based on that data spine 75 of information of fraction of rows it predicts that score model and then evaluate model shows you the graph you know how the um, let's visualize it again right let's visualize it visualize it and see this you know, only histogram we have only histogram here um, so here only the error with frequency so what could be the error if it could predict the data so that's the evaluation one okay so that's pretty much on this one um, and not not pretty much we we, have, we still have to do here something now we have to deploy set up as web service we want to set up as web service but since it is disabled because we have to run it I think we have to save it to do that um, so let's save it and we saved it and let's run it now this runs the whole um, the model what we have done so far it does from scratch again and that's good uh, there is no error and there is no error because there is no code here so, so technically there will be no error oh yeah there could be if you don't specify any data information or anything here there could be error so now i will use setup web service and we put predictive web service okay so let's see so it automatically you know changing the data you could add some of this if you want but um okay so creating predictive experiment let's go to details okay let's close it so now we will I think it's done right okay now okay now we want to run let's run this web service this is a predictive experiment we just trained it this is a prediction experiment uh, which is web services I know which is uh, uh, which was designed by the web services 
and it created its own if you notice it changed its own values it moves its own columns uh, it changed everything and then you know it takes some time here okay now once it's predictive experiment is successful you know it's it's been successful and we deploy into web services now this is successfully deployed in the web services and now you can see this api for this application program interface just like previously we have seen it um you see this api and you can test it so we don't have much of this information for some reason and uh, is I mean one is empty okay so this one didn't run successfully but because um question is part so let's go to this This, this is web services so so uh, anyway so uh, this is supposed to run it um, you know I have not tried that before for some reason I think but you can and uh, this apps you can download it and see this okay how does it looks like I have never done this let's let's try to download and see what's exactly is this so this is actually this will be a web service actually it will be in web services in XML format and um, we will see what is that actually okay so this is how you can uh, you know that's not ends here it doesn't end here there's so many models you can create with so many algorithms uh, this is just an example a tutorial you can take it as a tutorial for uh, a second tutorial for um, uh, for machine learning how you can use this model for machine learning okay so there's some internal error so don't worry about it there is uh, Excel error from my side not from anything else so there will be an error so don't worry about it this will not show up for you it's in my machine actually some uh, excel was not installed properly so um so here's the url um for this and the access key and the schema oh, this is the macros and make sure you enable the macros Okay, good. Yeah, we don't we didn't get this all everything became zero 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 right for some reason it didn't show up properly. But yeah, um this didn't predict oh we didn't pre we predicted only price, so at least price should have showed up, but okay so but th this is how you can this is like web services when you're using it um so okay so that's how um you know you can use this one okay so that's about prediction uh you know so that's pretty much about um price prediction for an automobile so we've done two right income prediction and automobile price prediction um i wanted to uh, now you can see these two web services too um, and there is one more tutorial actually predictive solution uh, for German actually German credit card um, this I mean I wanted to do this one and show you but uh, you take it as homework um, you have this in this one it's uh, it's easy just um, you have to edit metadata a little bit and see which columns do you want this was not running properly in my system it was taking too much time 
probably my internet is not good or probably because uh, I'm not sure there's some reason but uh, okay so but the whole concept is oh you are you have to use the R code use this um, R script and you have to run it okay and then you have to okay you can use that one so um, let's go back to our experiments and see this what's happening so okay so the whole point is uh, you have to train the data I'm sorry um, not to train the system train the model okay um, this whole this this whole thing the start thing is actually cleaning part of your data let's say your data is not cleaned or your data is not appropriate you have to make sure uh, how do you want the data in this the whole the second thing is here where the action start from linear regression is you know there are a lot more than linear regression as I told you right um, oh this filters you can use filter a fire filter and the IIR filter you can use the median filters uh, manipulation so if you are familiar with um, ETL right um, as I told you in something either informatica or data stage I have never worked on that to be honest this will be a piece of cake for you so you will know what data to use so to be honest you can predict anything so and you can clean you can edit metadata you can join let's say you want to join the two data um, into well, let's say you are using two tables this is basically a database actually the data what you, you see here let's let, let me show you again so whenever you're seeing this is kind of database right this is the column and 26 columns and 205 rows so these are these are the database actually um so you can do uh, if, if you click it it has more information uh, feature numeric feature and this is numeric feature so if you want to join something with the uh, you, know, you can also do that too here um, it makes more complex this flow chart becomes more and more complex when you try to use more so this is so we <coughs> sorry so we keep it simple um as a you know this is tutorial point of view but you can do lot more thing you can join the data so sql if you know sql you can use sql transformation okay um right sql query that you only want some you know so sql you want you want to know some sql right so there is inline view sub query nested sub query so sometimes you want data inside the data so what you want to do is you want to write an inline view that you particular data which you are looking for and only that data should be so you want to use SQL you can do that too but that will be mostly will be before this so, so this part becomes more and more complex the upper part will more and more complex but this lower part is will be similar not same um, because you can train one model at a time one model at a time probably you can do multiple but um, that will become more complex right um, more complex and you do but this will make it simple we did for linear regression um, let's see here um, you can do that for you know Bayesian linear regression but uh, you know we have we have seen this earlier right let's let's find out again let's let's review it again we'll have some idea decision forest regression you know ordinal regression pi for for this we don't require all this because this is just a simple price prediction but if you are doing some complex thing you want to use those things but now we didn't do any complex so that's pretty much for this okay uh, let's in the next class um, we will go you know probably for me it will be tomorrow um, probably and uh, so we we go to this um, we we'll we use some of these samples 
and see try to see this um you know and and view those those guys flow chart uh, there will be more complex for flow chart this is where we created it simple one very simple uh, it's just a joke but uh, when we see other models you will try to see how the other models work so you have plenty of information so i'll not be blow, uh, going all through this because there's a lot too much here actually so you do you can do it for yourself as a homework you know go ahead and do this homework and um, i will probably i'll take more two classes for to this for to see their flow chart and you can edit too you can edit their flow chart and you can create your own model let's say they have used linear regression why don't you use bayesian bayesian linear system and see how the data looks like but you supposed to know what you are doing linear regression is kind of the weight you know you are using the weight but bayesian you know linear is a different model so you want to know what you are trying to do so you want to know uh, what exactly is the linear regression does and what does it boost addition treat us so you want to know this algorithms before you find this prediction so mostly it is a pr prediction method method okay so we'll um, look into more um, two samples okay two or three samples if you want right we're gonna go three samples if you think it's too less you know uh, but uh, these things uh, so uh, let's recap you know let's recap uh, these things remain similar um, clean the data if the data first thing is get the data get the data no, without data you cannot do anything get the data and then you find out what to do with that data if you see there is a, a null values the data is not good want to clean the missing data now this is important major part of that of the data then you found out that the data is good but you wanted some specifics in the data right let's say you want to use um, you know some data particular data where there is you know um, only information required for that particular information so you want to use transformation logic where um, like SQL you want to use where is the SQL right uh, we use SQL let's find out oh yeah SQL transformation you want to use the SQL to get particular amount of data and use only that data right the manipulation you can do that here after all this have been done then you split the data and then use a model uh, I'm sorry then use the uh, algorithm here you use algorithm a linear regression you can use any linear or ba you know base linear I'm sorry mm, what is that again that was uh, Uh, yeah, Bayesian linear regression model, or it just any any other model. It's not doesn't have to be. We used only regression methods. There is a cluster method. There is lot more methods, a uh, lot more algorithms actually. Then you train it. You train it and get the score model. Once you get the score model, evaluate the model and see that uh, results in the graph. Once you view the graph, um, visualize it visualize the graph and see how does it looks like um, so this is what the histogram and then this is what the uh, thing is showed up and you know and, and of course the data the predicted data you can also see the predicted the data um, this is the score level that is the predicted data so based on this history uh, it predicted the data how it will be okay so we'll see this. Uh, uh, you know, this was our This was a tutorial experiment. Uh, we'll see two more or three if we have time. Okay, and um, and we'll go to notebook. Uh, I'm sorry. What is that? Yeah, notebooks. And see if there is there is also option for us to create um, tutorial. I we'll hope we have tutorial for this. Yeah, this is tutorial. Uh, see this uh, probably 
would you see this because um, I don't want to use any code because I'm not ready for that to use any R code or C code or something uh, but let's see okay let's see now what we'll do here is um, we we'll add this to our project go to the project and uh, let's go to here oops um, we go here and um, I want to add this okay here we go go to add assets now if you see here oops not everything we have so we have this income we don't have um, automobile so we'll add this automobile and we train this model automobile so three of them we'll add it all right it's good we did some transformation so so what happens here when you add this into the project um, um, you know let's go to this again and see here so you are here have this four uh, you know two prediction one transformation um, and uh, web services and four experiments four exp we have done four experiments technically uh, actually um, two experiments but one was for the web services to design that web services we created a predictive so, uh, predictive um, experiment so that's the reason it comes up to actually only one uh, here you can see this this is price prediction this is predictive experiment is incoming to that's the reason when you are using this web services right it creates one more uh, by itself and you can add more services if you want okay so that's pretty much for our class okay we'll stop here for this experiments too many experiments uh, actually one experiment but too much of uh, actually there is a lot more more than this actually uh, but um, you know tomorrow for me it's tomorrow actually um, so we'll go through um, another experiments let's see in this experiments um, we will see how it works in opening the studio and uh, we'll see their flow chart and try to uh, execute that prediction and try to get results and we will modify that try to see the get the prediction of that okay that would help uh, to understand more about our uh, so so what is this all about so this all Azure machine learning studio is all about creating the flow chart and predict getting prediction you're training a model based on algorithm which is already there which is algorithm you will not have to create an algorithm but you can create algorithm this is a different story but that's a different work out together we are not doing that what we are trying to do here is using an algorithm you are predicting the model and using a score model you are actually getting the data uh, set here and if for the evaluation model you are using the graph and getting the mean square root mean square and you know all that information there um, to how that the model actually done so if you are not satisfied with that model you can change the split data right so that's where uh, split data comes into picture we want 0.75 0.5 0.8 0.1 I don't know point okay so it's 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 uh, it's based on that one too so it's also depends on that all right so I hope you found this useful I know this is um, this is a little bit complex because um, you will not be using uh, uh, for yourself it is more for machine learning so but you can create this model this is your you have created a model and you can deploy it into the machine so that it does automatically for you right um, it's it, it's not for you but it's for machine so that's that's the name right machine learning so it's from Azure, Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. That's what it is. Uh, it's for machine learning, not for human learning, not for you. So that's the reason you might not understand some of those things. Why this is generated? Why this? What is this graph is all about? 
uh, why we are doing this. So the whole point is to predict the model. We are training the model and predicting the column data from the data. So it's all about the data. You're you're getting the data. You're um, cleaning the data, and you what data you want. If you want SQL query, put that SQL, and you are training that uh, particular. You can train one column at a time. Probably more. I will not use that, but but we use one column at a time. Uh, that would be simple for our flowchart. And then you're training it um, using a, a algorithm, what is already there, and then you're seeing the results. That's what you are trying to do. Okay. Uh, and then, oh, of course, you are generating the web services, which automatically moves the flow charts and you know makes use of prediction and generates the result and you can view that too did I showed you that web services so uh, we can view that too let's oh, not this oh, we, have, we go to experiments and see that go to this uh, this is a prediction right um, so here it auto automatically changed the web services import you see here uh, you can view, visualize this and see this um, if that is different from it. It's not probably, it may not be that different from that one. Um, but uh, you can, uh, you know, correlate with that one with training experiments, see what the, what's the difference is all about. Okay. So with this, we'll end this tutorial. Uh, we'll not take um, too much time here okay we'll stop here and tomorrow i'll get back to you for me it's tomorrow actually. it's already four um, with the new model we'll go to the i'm sorry a uh, new uh, yeah of course that would be a new flowchart and see that try to edit ourselves try to see uh, that will be in again an experiment so this is all our experiments we are we are working on experiments okay and see how it works and if um, put more transformation logic put SQL I don't know join the data if you want to remove duplicate records of course you want to do that if you if there is there so this is a data manipulation so it's all about data it's all about data you are doing all machine learning based on all data predicting the future based on all the previous data okay so that's what all about so that's pretty much and I hope you you may not understand everything in, the, in this video probably want to view this or probably want to view more than once or if you have any questions you can reach out to me um, I will also see if I can see something because this is new thing actually it's, it's pretty new um, they started in 2018 so and you have free access so make use of it create your own model deploy it you have option of creating your own probably you might invent your own model and do this um, it's good you know it's good to know uh, you can do it your own thing I mean this you're not restricted with one. we have done for price you might do for any other thing and publish it you can publish to gallery see here um, you can predict your own thing right so so we'll stop here and uh, you know um, we'll uh, get I'll get back to you in the next class with a new model and new prediction um, and meanwhile um, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video